Not out of the woods yet. I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? Didn't you? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. <laughs> you don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. <laughs> Te teach you, Nightingale. Ooh. Take these flares. I need a gun. Okay. Thank you for the game. I don't know which way to go. running. What is up here? It's probably gonna be like a whole lot of nothing. I don't even know if this is the way. Doesn't seem like a way to a train station or train depot. Depot? No, depot. Depot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Keep running, he's behind me! That's me! Probably gonna be like a coffee thermos and a radio station. Like a radio. That's what it's gonna be. Maybe manuscript and coffee. Ooh. Flares and a manuscript. Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. 
Yeah. Okay then. So there was just flares and a manuscript. Wasting my time. Running down a hill. Should I even be running down a hill? You know, like, when I could trip and fall and bash my head off of that rock right there. God. Get away from me, birds. Make it, Alan. Just keep walking. They're all gonna attack me. I feel it. I feel it. Just keep running, Lake. Keep going. This way. <laughs> no more ammo left. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Okay then. There we go, fence man. I don't like the looks of this. in here, shotgun ammo, and a shotgun, well thank you. Okay, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I can't get up there? Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, I'm up. No. 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 Oh. You made me angry, tree. There we go. You're up there. Oh. This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay. Casually walk up it. And realize there's nothing up here and it's a complete waste of time. Okay. There's something flashing up here. So we'll check this out. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. What? Mud and rocks flowed as it walked for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Oh god. I, mean, I gotta fight a bulldozer? Oh, I hear talking. You gotta come at me. Coffee. Why does it make me want to have a coffee? Why is that? Ooh. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. Yep. He felt wrong, <laughs> and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Federal business. Fucking Nightingale being a dick again. Thank you. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. <laughs> Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. The ice wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Oh, God. Possessed objects. Cool. It's this way. Ooh. Cabin in the woods. To go inside. Ooh. Revolver ammo, shotgun ammo. Thank you, thank you. 
You go in here for me. Flares. It's cool. Take that. Oh no, run away. Do 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 I wanna hit this fence. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Ooh. The ladder. Wait. Can I just see what I oh, follow the ladder? Climb, 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 climb,